Welcome to the Detective and the Doctor, episode 5, covering Rosalina Isles, season 4, episode 5, Dance with the Devil. It's Patty Doyle's trial? Issues between the entire, the entire, Kyle, Hope and, and Mara, and, and Patty and Mara, and Kavanaugh and Patty. Mainly, it's everyone who's ever had beef with Patty or some yeah. kind of involvement with Patty. Yeah, you got to see a lot of uh, everything that happened between Kavanaugh and Patty back in the day. Mm-hmm. When like that it was starts a off thing. like a, a flashback from 1993. This woman and this son, like baby go into their apartment, and she turns the heat up because she notices the heat's not on. And when she does, the entire building blows it explodes. up. And before that, we saw somebody go in and. Loosen the pipes down in mm-hmm. the basement. And, like, take a part the of the pipes. pipe out. Um, and then you find out it's Kavanaugh's... It was Kavanaugh's 25-year-old wife and their 2-year-old son. We see that Hope is now um, kind of bonding with Mara. Mara's clearly upset and... Told she Patty... She asked Jane to call Mara over. No. Not, no, she, okay. Mara asked Jane to call Hope over. Because Mara told Patty Doyle when she saw him at the bar that she wished that she Jane wished had she killed was dead. him. That she wished Jane had killed him. Promising. They try to like talk to Mara, and then finally they're in the kitchen drinking tea together, and there's this really awkward group hug. hug. It was awkward. <laughs> I felt so uncomfortable because I don't know. It's just because of the three people that it involved. I think. Like, if it was, maybe if it was, like, Angela, Mara, and Jane, it wouldn't have been so awkward. Angela's a hugger, whereas, and knows Mara more than Hope does, yeah, really. Yeah, but it was just really awkward, because Jane still is trying to trust Hope, and then there's just, like, this weird, like, group I, hug between these yeah. three women, and I was just really bothered by it. Kavanaugh goes after Patty, because when Kavanaugh figures out that Patty was the one that killed his son and his wife, he goes after Patty. Well, we find out there was a cop that died, and the cop had been... Covering up things for Patty Doyle, and uh, he was killed on his way to Atlantic City after he retired. After he retired, he was shot and killed. Kavanaugh beat the crap out of Patty, and Patty was there with all of his boys. Yeah, like, which why I don't understand. Even why would start anything? Right, it's one against like. I mean, five. I know it's an uh, emotionally charged thing, but why would you even bother going after anyone? Why would you even go? After this guy, when you know he has connections everywhere, and his people are right there, there's like 20 guys there. Why would you even bother? Very emotional episode for everyone involved. Yeah. And Mara basically made Hope testify. Well, she called her out because she treated Patty after the that Patty ended up being the one who loosened the pipes in Kavanaugh's house, and she Hope treated him for the burns. And the only reason Mara knew that was because Hope had used the same stuff on Mara's burn from the espresso machine. Mm-hmm. So that was really smart on Mara's part. How long is that? Oh, she said since, since 1988. 1988. That's right, the best year in history of years. No, it's not. Kavanaugh's ready to kill him, and, and Mara's essentially just like, we'll do it then. Like, yeah. <laughs> nobody wants you here. And then Kavanaugh doesn't kill him because she tells him that Hope was going to testify. And Hope is the love of his life. Likes. I like this episode. Uh, the episode was really good. It was a really good episode. It was well written. It like, covered I a lot of... I liked seeing uh, Hope again. Yeah, I really I liked hearing uh, the, the similarities we saw in them, too, though. Mm-hmm. Like, we got a taste of that before, but we really saw all the similarities between Hope and Mara. And I like how Mara called Hope to watch Kavanaugh while they went. That was and... cute. Right. I'm not a big fan of Kavanaugh, but I like seeing about his past and how that mm-hmm. all played out. We got to see a lot of that. Jane's skirt? No, I, I like how Mara's like not skirt. afraid to tell anyone off anymore and speak her mind. Because at Jane first, too she was, like, she was always, like, the nice person and, like, didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but now she doesn't give a shit. Not really, she no. Just, I think She's it's had a better it. way of her dealing with things now. Yes. Um, dislikes? Jane's skirt. <laughs> The lack of Angela Rizzoli. Angela Rizzoli wasn't there. She was visiting her sister. This would have been a perfect Angela Rizzoli episode. Kavanaugh got hurt. That's her boy. That's Why her wouldn't boy. you have her there? They- like, it, was, it just seemed like Kavanaugh was really reckless. Mm-hmm. And I, mean, I know he was doing emotionally it. Emotionally charged yeah. and whatnot, but 
that was really reckless on his on his part. Yeah, especially when he went into the dirty robber and just went after Patty with all of his boys. There. And they could have threw the trial because of going after him. Mm-hmm. They kind of protected him in that aspect, but he could have threw that trial. Did Mara learn to do stitches? That was yeah. Did you guys see that above his? That was um, the worst Frank fake Stein. stitch job I've ever seen in my like life. That was like somebody just took a permanent mark and went, All right, Looks dead. good! That was good job! Go! On set. Um, Predictions. I, I hope we get to see more. I, I want to see what s- goes down with that. I mean, I'm glad they're not drawing it out throughout the entire season. Right, but exactly. I want to see more, like maybe the next episode or something, finding out Is like, he what gonna happens stay in prison? if he's going to be convicted or if he's going to be set free. To see more of the Hope and Mara... Well, apparently, I don't know if it's the episode coming up, but Mara's half-sister eventually moves in with her. That's going to be really awkward. Between her it's and It's a big, Hope like, and Mara and Angela Rizzoli episode. Angela Rizzoli. Because Mara's starting to realize what it's like to be, like, raising a child, basically. On ratings, I give it a 9.5. I give it a 10. I think it was the best this season. I last really do. Last week was really, really good. Like, we gave last week's a 10. Yeah, but I think this week's was better than last week's. Like this episode, this season's getting better and better each episode. Mm-hmm. So it's starting. To, it legit to me because I've been watching the show since the first episode aired in season one. Like it legit, this season is starting to feel like how it was during season one, and I'm really enjoying it. I just want I them to write a good show. I don't necessarily want it to be like any other season. I just want it to be on point. I just want them and it to, wasn't to take so much care about like what they need to take care of. Somebody killing somebody. It was just all about the. Patty Doyle trial, basically. Oh, it was about up, like, somebody loose killing ends. somebody. Like, covering up, like, loose ends. But I mean, like, it wasn't, like, their typical, like, murder. That's true. They'll catch us next week we'll uh, when this is posted on the right day for The Detective and the Doctor. Covering. And covering uh, episode six, titled Somebody's Watching Me. Uh, you know, I always feel like um, somebody's, somebody's watching, watching me. <laughs> and I have no privacy. Whoa. And catch us on, uh, catch our show Tuesdays, it's when it gets posted, uh, for minor incidents. So, uh, we're going to go to sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch this episode and, and put it back go to on. sleep. Yeah. All right. All right, so, thanks, guys. In case you didn't notice, we were filming in New York, like we said we were going to. And then the other show. On vacation. She blends in with the wall. I. My eyes look two different shapes. (laughs) You should see me try to put on makeup earlier. I don't get it. I I'm not even lying. I'm not even exaggerating. I just can't just do it. I don't feel like using my hands. Do my. At least do my eyebrows. Did you say where Angela was from? Your mom's chest. <laughs> no, they have it. Not really. They I just... hope they say she's from New York because that's she's the only from way to cover Brooklyn. up Lorraine Bracco's that is the accent. Only way. With a gun to his face. I'm sorry, that was your good eye. I didn't mean to poke you. I didn't do this. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to do that. It's a long day. It really has. So, uh... Oh, in the car, right? No. No. They went to, uh, somewhere. I don't remember. They went somewhere. (laughs) They went somewhere.